everyone welcome to python guides my name is vineet and today we will learn how to create a bmi calculator using python ticket so i am using vs code on my ubuntu operating system but you can follow this tutorial on any operating system irrespective of the code editor so let's get started so before we start le let me show you the application that we are going to build so this is a simple uh, bmi calculator it is asking for my age, so I can put in 25 and I can select my gender and then so it is 180 centimeter and the weight is 65. So if I will click on calculate, uh, it will show me the result. So the so my BMI is 20.1 and which is normal. There are a couple of more buttons like I can click on reset to clear all the uh, uh, all the inputs and I can click on exit to close the program now let's go ahead and see the program so I have uh, I have already I have written the code already I will be explaining you each, each and every step so you can see on uh, in this output we have a box and we have a title that is Python guides so first of all we have imported everything from uh, tkinter that is from tkinter import everything and we have also, uh, since we have to display the message in a message box, so we have imported message box separately. Now we have created our first window, that is a main window, and we have named it as WS. And we have provided the title that is pythonguides.com that you can see over here. Then the geometry is 400 by 300. So the, uh, so the width is 400 and the height is 300. And then the config, uh, this BG68E6E70 is the background color that you are seeing over here. It's a gray color. And uh, then, then I have started an infinite loop. Infinite loop is important so that we can see the screen. Next is we have to create uh, widgets. So. So in this program, you can notice that we have a uh, one is the frame that we have set over here. This is the first widget and inside the frame we have put uh, we have put the label, the entry boxes, radio buttons. And then uh, we have placed some buttons. A few more things I have used three uh, frames of, in this GUI. First is the one that you are seeing outside. This one, the bigger one, and the other one is um, over here for the radio buttons. I have arranged the radio buttons inside a frame. And third one is I have used it in, inside the button. Like uh, I have placed all the buttons inside the uh, third frame. So this is the coding that uh, the naming convention is very easy. So H underscore LB means age label. That means the one we are seeing over here. A, uh, enter age to uh, between 2 to 120 and uh, similarly if i have to create a, a create a text field for the same one or the entry field for the same one i have named it as age underscore tf that stands for text field so i have done this uh, done this thing with all all of the names so you can see male underscore rb means male radio button female underscore rb means female radio button now i have provided the height lb means this part the the one you are seeing written over here and the height uh, height tf means text field or entry box so this is how i have taken the input now let's jump to the function the the, the function the main thing in, in this program so uh, before we uh, jump into the pro, um, jump into the function, let me explain you what actually the BMI is. So let's go to the Google and search for what is BMI. So BMI is simply a body mass index. It is a major measurement of a fat based upon your height and uh, width of the body. And the formula, uh, for, for, formula, I'm not good at mathematics or uh, 
uh, I am also not a health practitioner. So I have copied the formula from the internet. You can also find it. And uh, so the formula is uh, this one, BMI is equal to weight in kg divided by uh, height, height in meters, uh, meter, meter square. So it's uh, meter into meter. So, uh, so to create a, like, uh, first of all, what I have done, I have create, uh, taken input of the user in kg. This is the weight. So weight dot, uh, weight underscore text field dot get means uh, it will fetch the value that is provided inside this text field over here. And it is converted, it is then converted into integer since we have to deal in, like we have to uh, perform mathematical operations. So we, it is important that it is a number. So I've converted it into integer. By default, it is a string. So I have done the same thing with, uh, with height as well. But the additional thing that I have done with the height is whatever the, we have requested the height in a centimeter. So I have converted the centimeter into meter by dividing it by hundred. Now, once I have the value in uh, kilograms and meters, then I have put the value inside this formula. So the variable, uh, the variable I have assigned is BMI and kg divided by m into m that is m uh, meter square. Now, once I did that, uh, I, in the second step, I have, uh, Put the like I have changed the value into a round. So why it is important? Let me show you real quick. If I just comment this out and let me close the program. If I run it once again, you will see. So uh, these two uh, these two are not operational. So I won't be providing the value for them. It's just one eighty and period 65. So you can see uh, now the result is coming into, you know, uh, the decimal multiple decimal values. But using that round function, what was happening, it was converting it into uh, like it is it was rounding rounding of the values. So it was becoming 20.1. That's why the round function is used over here. So let me show you once again, so that you can just uh, compare it. It was 180 divided by 65. So it's 20.1, which is normal. Now, moving forward. Now, once we have uh, like uh, the value over here, the value, let's say 20, 20.1 is stored over here now. Now what we have done, we have you create, uh, we have called a function that is BMI underscore index, and we have passed a value of BMI inside it. That is 20.1 inside it. So we have created this function. Now the reason behind uh, uh, creating this function is we have the value. Now we have to compare the value with the category. So what is the category? So the categories are. Uh, like this. So if you have a BMI of less than 18.5, then you are underweight. And if it is between 18.5 to 24.9, then you are on a normal weight. And if it is about 25, 25 or about 25 and between 29.9, then it is overweight and about 30, uh, it is obesity. So depending upon this, I have uh, created a condition over here. So every time, uh, the, once the, once I have the BMI, I can just compare it with the number. If the condition is satisfied, satisfied over here, then this message box will be displayed with the message BMI equals to uh, whatever the BMI is and the message with uh, underweight. So this will happen with all uh, with all the categories, and in case if there is some kind of uh, you know uh, if the garbage value has been provided or something like if the user has provided alphabet, then he will be seeing a message which says something went wrong, and you can just modify this message if you want. 
and you can also put it in, in the uh, try and catch uh, to uh, to handle these exceptions. So you can see this is how the uh, result is appearing. I should have provided the result over here on the top. So so this was all about the uh, BMI calculator uh, calculator using Python Tkinter. In case you if you like the video, please leave a like. And in case if you have any doubt, you can just leave a comment on that. And please do consider subscribing our channel. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.